Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, foreign exchange market and we will uh, focus on the um, Great British Pound, the US dollar, the US dollar and the yen, the European euro and the US dollar, the Aussie dollar and the US dollar and the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So we'll start off by looking at the Great British Pound. So the last few weeks, um, um, the, um, this pair has been really bullish. However, on um, the last two weeks, we have been forming this very nice uh, bullish flag. So to you that don't know what a bullish flag is or a flag is of, of any sort, um, when we have this, for example, this uptrend and we have like a choppy moving to sideways, um, usually to um, support area of a, of a moving average. In this case, I would expect it to be the exponential 20, 20 exponential moving average. We get basically close to this um, uh, moving average, then we go much higher. It's basically a, it's technically just a market um, uh, slowing down a little bit before basically taking off. And this can also happen in a, in a downtrend if we we have a no we don't have a similar pattern here but basically basically what happens in a in a downtrend or a, or a bearish flag is basically opposite we basically have a movement to the downside then moving a little bit upwards and then continuing downside so this is a really nice bullish flag that has been uh, been we see on this chart and this is basically an indication that we are ready to go much higher from here uh, it'll probably take uh, one more week uh, and the reason why i say that is because the indicators are not really um, indicating that we are ready to go on this another bullish run so if we look at the uh, RSI, we are not overbought, we're not oversold, but we are in a downward trajectory still. The same goes for the MACD, we're still uh, quite far away from crossing the signal line. And so we'll probably have um, a few more trading days where we will go trading sideways. Probably, best case scenario, touching this uh, 20 exponential moving average before going higher. Uh, the same goes for the, for the Bollinger Band, we are just basically... Uh, well, trading sideways, and at, we're just waiting for to go higher. Um, the indicator that is most bullish is the stochastic. We are about to cross this signal line, indicating that we will go higher. Um, yeah, um, I would wait a little bit. Um, if we were to hit this uh, 20 expansion moving average, I will definitely be a buyer in this market. Um, <clears throat> but it probably be a few more trading days, um, most likely. So if we look at the uh, US dollar and the yen, we can see that uh, we have been on a very bullish run uh, for the last uh, two weeks. But we hit resistance at uh, the uh, 100 moving average. And uh, now we also closed on Friday below uh, this green candlestick. And that is uh, quite a bearish uh, sign that we are ready to go continue downwards. So this is a market that it has not been trading sideways, but almost sideways. If we take a trend line here, we can see that that we are not trading sideways, but the movement is gradually going lower from here. So I do expect us to go down to this um, support line of around uh, 104 uh, or lower, 103, something like that, before probably going higher and then just continuing uh, this a downward trend very gradually a gradual downward trend so um yes if we look at the indicators we can see that uh, the rsi is a uh, is a downward trajectory um the macd is quite far away from the signal line so we'll probably have um yeah uh, probably have one or two trading days before uh, this crosses the signal line 
probably a few uh, small candlestick, very, very choppy uh, trading. Uh, but if you look at the MAC uh, or the Bullinger Band, we have um, hit the high of the Bullinger Band and are ready to go down. And the stochastic is basically showing that we are uh, about to cross the signal line, indicating that we will go down from here. Um, this is a market I'm, 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 I am I am interested in shorting. I'm not at all interested in buying this market because there's just too much um, resistance above, and I think we basically hit the top of this resistance, and now we are about to go go lower. So next is the uh, euro and the US dollar, and very similar to the to the. Great British pound in the US dollar, we have also uh, uh, formed this uh, very bullish flag here, indicating that we will go much higher. So we uh, made a similar uh, bullish uh, or bullish flag pattern a few weeks ago, which led to this uh, really nice move to the upside. So this is also a uh, bullish flag so this basically we have an increase in price then we have a gradual uh, um, trading downwards and then we continue upwards and at this point we are creating another bullish flag here and this is also another indication that we will go much higher uh, we'll probably be another a, a few more trading days probably a week maybe two weeks before we uh, we continue our um, um, move to the upside. So, um, if we were to go to the upside, we will go all the way to uh, 1241, which is the next support. Uh, no, not next, it's resistant area. Um, yes, so around 600 pips. Uh, but as I said, that probably won't, that move probably won't happen uh, for a um, few more trading days and because the, uh, the indicators are quite uh, bearish. If you see the RSI, it's heading downwards and the MACD is quite far away from the signal line um, and it's also heading downwards. The same goes for the Bollinger Bands, also indicating that we'll probably go lower from here before going higher. And the stochastic is, is indicating that we are going higher. And probably the reason for that is because the last three trading days have been quite bullish. And that's why. Uh, so I don't expect us to go much higher from there. This from here, uh, from the highest that will go is uh, 1190 before going down. So we are forming a bullish flag and this is a buying opportunity. Um, major resistance here is the 20 exponential moving average. Uh, next, uh, no, next support, I mean, is the expo 20 exponential moving average. And after that is basically the uh, 40 exponential moving average. And then we have the 50 uh, moving average. If you get down to the 50, that is an amazing buying opportunity. So we have the Aussie dollar and the US dollar, and this is a market that is gradually, really gradually going higher. So at this point, we are basically, we have been testing this at uh, 20 exponential moving average several times recently, and we just can't break through here. So at this point, we're not forming a, a flag pattern, but we are technically just grinding, um, grinding slowly upwards. Um, if you look at the uh, indicators, we are quite low, and it's basically indicating that we will probably go higher from here. Um, the same goes for the MACD. Um, probably another few trading days, and then we'll cross the signal line, and then we'll go higher. And the next uh, resistant area is at um, 0 0.7249. Uh, um, so, yes, not a lot of action in this market. You can also see that in the Bollinger Band, it's not a lot of volatility in this market. The stochastic is indicating that we'll go upwards the next um, trading days. Yeah, probably. But this is not a market that I'm really interested in because 
really nothing's really happening in, in this market. So we can look at the US dollar and the Canadian dollar. And this is uh, far more interesting because the Canadian dollar and the US dollar has been trading in this, um, it then started trading in this channel uh, a few weeks ago. And it has been basically, yeah, continuing in this uh, bearish, um, uh, bearish channel. So if you look at this channel, it is basically the highest of are here and then we have the lows here so at the moment we are basically near the bottom we touched the bottom of this channel and then now we're basically going upwards and um, and yes uh, resistant is this uh, 20 exponential moving average and also this uh, trend line here and um, yes this is not a market that you should buy at the moment. You should just wait until we get close to this um, this trend line and then just sell because, as you can see, we are in a, a bearish channel. So indicators showing that we are uh, about to go upwards. The RSI is quite positive. The same goes for the MACD. We are indicating that we'll probably cross the signal line within one or two trading days. The Bollinger Band, we did... Um, touch the lows of the Bollinger Band and now we're going upwards and the stochastic is quite negative we probably have one or two more trading days before hitting this signal line and then we'll go higher so everything is basically indicating that we will continue in this downward um, channel or this uh, bearish channel and uh, that we hit the lows of the channel on uh, first day uh, and now we're going to retest this uh, 20 expansion moving average and then also probably best case scenario uh, this trend line here and if we break this trend line we'll go to the 15 moving average before going lower so i hope you find this video uh, helpful you're welcome to support our channel by hitting the uh, subscriber button and uh, going making a like for this video. And if you want to see our next videos, you can also hit the bell button. So uh, good luck and happy trading and thank you very much.